hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and as you guys might by the title we're gonna do a little different style today i'm gonna go ahead and try out this new afro sheen slick back cream styler and it smooths and holds and it is with extra hold but i'm also trying out a style that i saw another youtuber do and her name is curly chris i'll insert a picture of the style that i'm gonna do right over here so y'all i have seen this style on pinterest and instagram and all of these things and then i saw that curly chris dropped a video and i was like listen i gotta try it out but the difference is is that i'm gonna use this cream slick back styler um and i'm gonna do a braid out in the back and then do like a little slick down front type of thing so y'all get about a picture but let's go ahead and get right into it so if you're new around here hey my name is mink i drop a lot of natural hair lifestyle beauty content twice a week i would love to have you a part of our kinky crew family so go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bells like the video if you like it and go ahead and comment down below and i will personally welcome you to our kinky crew fam so y'all i already went ahead and washed conditioned deep conditioned my hair and all of that good stuff i'll link my um hair regimen up above so that you guys will see what I have been using and I went ahead in with this aloe matcha green tea leave-in with ginger and honey from curls of Assance. and y'all I only have this little corner left um so I'm probably going to use this up as a midweek refresher or like you know tucking my hair into a bun just for a little bit of extra moisture or whatever but I put this in my hair as well as the canvas beauty oil Y'all know I've been using that a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead, section my hair, and then I'll show you guys how the cream styler works with a braid out. And then I'll come back when I'm actually doing the slick in the front and we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and sectioned my hair off. Um, like I said, I have the Curl of Assance Green Tea Aloe Matcha Leave-In in my hair. I do have a review on it, um, which I will link up in the cards above. It's not my favorite leave-in conditioner, but as y'all saw it's almost gone and i'm just trying to use it up so um like i said the style i'm doing is going to have like two slick back pieces so i still need to work with my parts up at the top but like i said i'm just doing a braid out in the back so i wanted to show you guys just what that's going to be like and then i'll come back to show you guys how the slick back thing works hopefully it works i did try and do it for a bun like midweek it I only used a little bit and my hair had gel and everything in it and it didn't really do that great of a job holding my hair so i'm hoping that since my hair is damp it'll do better but i'm literally just gonna go ahead and follow my typical braid out routine so this is what my hair is looking like you know just on its own and we're gonna go ahead and read the directions so I can make sure that I'm using this product correctly. It is six ounces. The Slick Back Cream Styler is a non-greasy and non-flaking formula that was developed to smooth your hairline and hair for those special looks, buns, afros, afro puffs, and bantu knots. So nothing about braid outs or anything. Don't try this at home. So for the directions, apply as needed to dry or damp hair. Use fingertips to apply to hairline, place, um, to place hairline, I guess is what they mean, and um, rub hands together to apply to the base of hair and style, brush smooth and style as desired. Okay, so I'm still gonna try it as a braid out. Like it is still a cream styler and I think, I don't know, I just wanna try it. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna just go ahead, spray my hair down with a little bit of warm water. So I don't want my hair to be super, super wet, but just, you know, a little bit to reactivate, you know, whatever product i have in so that is the curl of assance leave-in and this is what my hair is looking like i will say i don't think that the curl of assance is the most moisturizing leave-in but it does get my curls pretty defined so when you open up the product it literally just looks like a paste you guys can see the oils coming down but like it's it's literally a paste all right i'm gonna go on with this much rub it in my hands um not sure how much to use oof got really white but we're just gonna go ahead and try it so y'all see sitting on my hair it is white hopefully this doesn't flake but i'm gonna just go with it so i'm literally just gonna keep doing that all over my head and just braid the back of my hair and then i'll come back when i'm slicking down the front and i'll just show you guys how that process goes
okay you guys so i'm back and have the back of my hair all braided up and y'all <laughs> this product is making my hair super long it's super stretched as y'all can see period but y'all can see that the product is just sitting in it's taking a long time for it to melt in but i can feel the hole starting to come in so i'm a little nervous not even gonna lie to y'all but let's go ahead and start with this front part so um i already sectioned my hair the way i wanted to you know lay in everything so basically it says just to spray it down and wet you know slick your hair down so that's just what i'm going to do so i'm just spraying it down a bit because i don't want my hair to be completely wet i don't know i just feel like this should be a little more dry this is about how much i used on my braids so i'm gonna just go ahead and i think i'm gonna take about this much and i'm just going to work it in on this entire section and y'all it is very white when you first put it on your hair but i have just not been paying that any mind whatsoever um because it usually just melts right in so i'm just trying to distribute that in nicely and then i'm gonna go ahead and detangle a bit with my tangle teaser um just because i'm laying this down and i want it to be as smooth as possible so when i'm done smoothing it down that's what my hair looks like and obviously it's still obviously it's still doing you know curling up a bit but what i'm doing is you just want to make sure that your part is identifiable and i'm going to take a little bit more and just put it right around the base here just to try and encourage a little bit more slickage and i'm literally just going to slick down the part the section that i have here so i'm just going to slick it down and i have bobby pins so that i can bobby pin you know that little piece back because the idea is that we want this front part to be slick and then have a big curly look in the back so i'm just going to keep slicking it's okay if your braid gets a little bit you know frizzy up at the top like this is the braid i should have clipped it back but i did not um but just try and keep holding your hair in this place and i'm going to tuck it behind my ear and i did bring in bobby pins and i'm gonna just bobby pin it there and i'll just braid this little piece All right, y'all, so I'm, when I'm done putting the bobby pin in, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll braid this section right back here. But as you guys can see, it's laying down pretty nice, pretty flat. Um, I'm not really worried about it right now because I'm one of those people that needs to put my scarf on anyway for my hair to really lay down. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and actually, this will actually be a twist just because it's not that thick of a section there's no point in doing it if you know it's not gonna come out super defined so that's literally what the front part is looking like it's not looking like much right now but i promise you when i take my hair out in the back i think it's really gonna look nice so i just plan on sleeping with a satin scarf on and then I'll put my bonnet on over that so that's what it's looking like right now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick and then I'll show you guys the final product and then we'll let it dry okay you guys so I am back and these are actually my day three or four results I did my hair I don't remember I I don't remember if I did my hair on Saturday or on Sunday, but today is Wednesday and these are my results. And y'all, I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised. So let's just go ahead and give you guys a little close up. You guys can see down here, I'm starting to lose some curl definition just because I'm not, you know, wrapping my hair up the right way. I've just been lazy this week and not, you know, trying to do too much with my hair. So I'm slapping my bonnet on and that has been it. But y'all this says that it smooths and holds and i gotta say that it does so we're going to start with the braid out portion of my hair i think this is a really really good styler 
I mean, my hair, y'all can see, still has plenty of definition. Um, I think this would be a perfect midweek rebraid product. And if I'm being honest, I think that I can do a one and done braid out, twist out type of style with this. If y'all want to see that, let me know. I'm almost, my hair is still so moisturized. And y'all know I use that Curl of a Sans leave-in. And that's not my favorite leave-in by any means. But my hair feels good. It's still holding the curl. And um, it's a little shiny. Like, I don't, I like it. So as far as the smoothing part, my hair just doesn't lay down easily so i did use you know a pretty okay amount and i did go through and reapply some more so um, i could slick it down because it was kind of starting to frizz up a bit but y'all can see i really hadn't used much at all like it's just that very small dent this is a six ounce product but i think that you're gonna have this forever i think this will be great for um slicking up like a puff or a little ponytail and i think this is something that you'd be able to use every day my hair it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel you know super crunchy or like it's gonna be hard to wash out i really really like this product i think this is really really good and for it to be so inexpensive um i will have the bright the price pop up down here but i do know that it's very inexpensive i really like this product really 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 like this product like i'm gonna incorporate this in my summer um routine so yeah let me know if you guys picked up any of these new afro sheen products because this is the only one that i had but i've heard such good things about the line so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this braid out down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye